you have an update on how vaccine development is progressing and when you might expect first clinical trials in humans to begin? Thank you. We, we don't have uh, new data since the research uh, meeting and at this meeting they were discussing about uh, having a candidate vaccine by in, in around 16 weeks from now. Uh, but again, this would be just to have the candidate and then depending on the safety uh, test, um, deciding if it would be used in humans. So uh, it's still a matter of weeks. Months. Months. <laughs> yes. Many minutes. Yeah, and, 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 and while we're very supportive and we're working very, very closely with CEPI, uh, with uh, major uh, donors and with the World Bank and others, on the strategic investments that are going to be needed to develop vaccines. And they're going, that's going to be a lot of money. Uh, we're very conscious that those funds cannot and should not be pulled away from supporting weaker health systems to get ready. This isn't a trade-off between one or the other. We can save many, many lives in the coming months uh, with or without a vaccine. We all want to invest in the vaccine as a long-term solution, but there are people sick now, and there are health systems that are vulnerable now. So we need to balance our investments and invest in the weaker health systems and our own systems. We can save a lot of lives through supportive therapy by testing the drugs we're currently testing and by getting everything in our systems working. And then we do the other things and we develop the vaccine. And we do have hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.